temperatures rising this week, as indeed is the humidity. By the end of the week, some of us could see temperatures of 33 Celsius. Well, love it or loathe it, a uh, heat wave is on the way this week and temperatures, uh, at least across England, are expected to widely reach 30 degrees Celsius by Wednesday. And as you can imagine, the heat is coming in from the south, spreading across much of Europe. So it's not just us, many other countries will be feeling the heat and the hot air will also reach Scandinavia, where incidentally in the last couple of weeks, temperatures have been very high, in fact, approaching 30 degrees. And talking of the northern climes, this is not the only area in the very far north where we've been experiencing high temperatures. In fact, all the way across the other side of the globe, in uh, Siberia recently, uh, temperatures have got up to 38 degrees Celsius, making it a record. So this is within the Arctic Circle, these extreme temperatures. Now, it's not completely unprecedented to get high temperatures here. They have been up to 37 in the late 80s, um, but uh, perhaps it's the frequency with which these records are being broken that uh, is uh, somewhat concerning, uh, particularly in the Arctic. But anyway, and this is for Tuesday, this is for tomorrow. But notice the other side of this boundary between the cool and the hot. Can see just how very different the weather is. Uh, high 20s expected across a large chunk of the country on Tuesday and some strong sunshine, some very high UV levels on the way. Now Wednesday is the first proper hot day, so the onsets of the heat wave, if you like, at least in the southeast and across central areas, temperatures in excess of 30 degrees Celsius, so making it the hottest spell we've had certainly since last summer, but a different story there in the northwest. That was Wednesday, this is Thursday, the temperature's higher still. They could get up to around 33 degrees, I think peaking somewhere in the southeast. Friday will be another hot day. Starting to come up from the southeast, bringing with it that humid air. We've got very high pollen levels and very high UV levels. Those temperatures up to around the mid to high 20s tomorrow. And they then climb even further as we go on day by day through the rest of this week. So certainly in London, we could see top temperatures in the low 30s. But elsewhere, again, 31 to 32 degrees is not out of the question. That is hot, isn't it? All right, Nina, thank you very much.